Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today, I'll be showing you how to replicate a uh, object like a digital camera using a tin foil, something that looks like this. This takes you less than 20 minutes. So you can actually make a 3D dimensional uh, object, any object, by molding it. We call it model, modeling it. Okay, using aluminum foil. And I'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need is the aluminum foil. Put it on a flat piece of plane or surface. Take the uh, object that you want to model, like say this digital camera here. And what you want to do is you want to wrap it around as best you can. Actually, you want to do uh, wrap around where you count the most. So what I want to do is I'm going to wrap put the aluminum foil on top of this because this is the most uh, highest feature on the uh, model, right, the camera. So what I'm going to do is, you want to do is press down, okay, best you can, okay, try to smooth up, get all the surface as best you could, okay. Okay. And then make sure you don't press any other button. And you want to get as as nice a surface you want. And you might want to just use your finger and smooth it out. Get all the nice surface contour. Get all the contour, all the surface on the contour. This one. Okay. So once you establish that's done, then we're gonna cut them on the edges of the to get remove the excess amount of uh, aluminum. Okay, now we're gonna um, cut it. Okay. Gently cut the excess uh, aluminum with a large scissors. Okay, and then continue on to. Oops, <laughs> actually took a picture of that already. Okay. And then continue to smooth it out further. I want to um, make sure we've got all the features. Don't worry if some of the aluminum does not cover it. You want to just uh, make sure you try to cover everything. Okay. Get all the extra feature. You see that we distinguish the camera from other object. Okay, so make sure you get the button there. Okay. okay now with the small scissors, uh, tiny scissors, you want to trim the rest of the um, aluminum.
because you don't want it too thick then it's gonna affect the way it's shaped just be careful not to cut too much um, Okay, so it looks like a camera to me. Okay, so with a DACA knife, what you want to do is carefully cut um, the model, right? So that uh, it's not obviously obvious that, uh, you know, it looks like it's been tampered with. So I would suggest that if this is the camera, cut on the side, we call the chrono cut, okay? So we're gonna cut like this all the way around. Like that. And we're gonna later. What we're gonna do is we are going to um, uh, hot glue them. Okay, so gently uh, locate where the middle part is and gently be sure not to ruin the camera, of course. Okay, once you get yourself in there, okay, it's very thin, so be careful. Then again, with that tiny scissors. Okay. And proceed with. Now don't press too hard, like I said, it's so fragile, this is aluminum. You can see we got the structure pretty much done. Now what we're gonna do is I um, will fill it with uh, neither a foam or toilet paper, whatever it is, to kind of give it its shape because uh, it's very fragile. Okay. You need uh, some kind of stuffer. I use a toilet paper okay, to stuff it in, give that shape, structure. Okay. Just be careful not to. It's very fragile. Now, like I said, you don't have to cut. See, notice I didn't cut the whole thing, so I can just close it very easily. Okay? So I don't have to cut the whole thing. Just like a e carton, you know, you can open almost all the way. But... Alright, there you go. So, okay, once you're happy with the Shape. What we're going to do is now we're going to proceed with the hot glue. Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay, so here's the hot glue. So you start with the one that um, is not <coughs> fully cut. Okay, and then you just hot glue that here, that side first. And the reason I use hot glue because it's very fast adhesive and it's uh, hardened quickly relatively anyway and you can flatten it with uh, the metal piece of the um, hot glue gun like this okay so you can just wipe it side like that Okay, so you can see the comparison. There I go. Okay. So all you have to do now, my trick is, um, if you have um, a photocopy machine, a color one especially, 
what you do is you place the camera right and you scan it and print out and then you tape the outline okay it will be one to one ratio and let's say if it's a LCD screen here you put LCD screen here as well okay and all the button and then all the labeling and including that for example I made um, one this is my first part okay that I made from last time it's not as good as this one so notice I um, once I scan and photocopy uh, the original camera I just paste it onto the uh, aluminum casing that I made right and there it is okay. 3D object from aluminum foil cool okay so you can do that with this as well so maybe I'll do that now so as you can see I uh, use a my scanner printer photocopy machine to uh, print out the um, camera okay so it's black and white so it's not great photocopy imagine you have a color probably much better okay but again I don't have that colored uh, printer that was scanner if you do it there we go and then all you have to do is just cut these uh, exact image onto the aluminum foil uh, model okay so this is a photocopy uh, version of the original camera you can see here now uh, this is black and white I didn't have a color printer so I'm gonna make it monochrome 3d Ob uh, object modeling okay so put a hot glue okay I don't put too much I put a little bit too much here okay and um, put it uh, where it uh, notice it fit perfectly because this is when I scan it with my printer and photocopy it it was one to one ratio so it was exact replicate of the camera so there you go okay then on the other side <coughs> I got the the lens that. whoa that's hot okay so here's the lens oops no 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 Okay, here's the lens. I'm gonna put it right like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna place this part here. Okay, so we're gonna put a lens frame around a lens ring around it, just like the camera, whatever you see in the camera. Give it the authentic look. And then There it is. Okay, now you can go further by you know taping along here, photocopying and putting all the button, making more detail. But it's just an illustration to show you what it could look like. So here it is. A replica of the camera, Samsung digital camera, using aluminum foil. It took me less than 20 minutes if you know what you're doing anyway okay you can go in further detail and do more of this and uh, but it'll probably take longer of course you know, can the glue on the you know photocopy what it looks here and place it along the surface of the camera because you already got the structure you see there we go Cool.